climate change presents such unique challenges for small island nations and considering that 80% uh, of the infrastructure of the seashells is on the coastline, you know, affected by soil erosion, affected by flooding, you know, affected by the ravages of climate change, how prepared is your country in terms of capacity, in terms of resources to deal with climate change? How resilient is the seashells? As far as coastal erosion is concerned, we are trying to mitigate. I mean, we've, uh, some of our beautiful beaches are now, are now surrounded by, uh, by rock armoring, which is not what tourists come here to, to see. But we have to protect what, uh, what we have. We are now also trying to, to see what uh, new technologies exist so that uh, we don't have to do the rock armoring around the island, but if there is a possibility of breaking the surge further out in the sea, this is also something that we are looking at. But uh, of course, to do these things, you need, uh, you need support. And this is why whenever I attend a, a, a summit, when I talk of what uh, countries pledge, I say, for us, this is real and we need the support. Furthermore, we are innocent in, as far as, as climate change is concerned. When you look at the emissions coming from Seychelles, it's next to zero. As, uh, as of Africa, Africa emits only about 5% of total emissions, and yet we are the ones being affected. So the call for industrialized countries to take their responsibilities is, uh, is real. Let's talk a little bit about some of your international partners and what you expect from them, from them because China's foreign minister, Wang Yi, during his visit to the Seashells, talked about China's willingness to um, you know, deepen mutually beneficial cooperation with the Seashells. What areas of cooperation are you keen? China has helped us as far as maritime security is concerned and, uh, and this without any interference. China realizes that uh, with the big EZ that we have, in order for us to, to see what is happening, in order for us to fight illegal fishing, um, uh, the illegal, uh, illegal transportation of uh, arms, to fight illicit uh, drugs trafficking, we need help. And, uh, and, and this under the under the umbrella of maritime security. So China has been one of the partners helping us in the fight against uh, maritime crimes being committed. So this is, this is one big, uh, another big area. Um, and uh, nationally, we, we call on China for, for help whenever we need, be it, uh, be it in the health sector where again we have Chinese doctors here helping in any sector really. It's an open, uh, it's an open uh, relationship and uh, we call on China when we need their help and they also call on small Seychelles when, when they need our help. The CPC will be holding its 20th National Congress uh, you know, to determine the new leadership. So what's your message to the new leadership and what are your expectations in terms of deepening cooperation with the CPC uh, party moving forward? The message is, uh, is simple. We respect each other. We are members of, uh, of this global family through the UN. Let us seek what is good, what is right, what will be beneficial to both parties, to China and also to, to Seychelles. After all, we are all human beings. Our needs are the same. Our aspirations are the same. We all want a better life. So the CPC has as mission to seek for the betterment of the lives of the people of China. Here in Seychelles, we also have the same aspirations. So in whatever spheres we can, we can work together, we can cooperate, let's do so. How do you view, though, the China and Africa relationship, though, up until this point, and how do you view that relationship moving forward? 
I think it's, uh, it's definitely a relationship that has grown. Um, uh, we've seen over the years China-Africa summits being held. We've seen uh, aid coming from, uh, from China. And at the same time, we've seen uh, African countries going towards China to, to import. And uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the trade between China and Africa is the highest in, in the world because there's, uh, th th there's, quite, uh, there's quite a bit of trade uh, happening between our continent and, uh, and, uh, and China. So let's continue along those lines. Let's remove anything that we consider to be negative. Let's listen to each other. And in that way, we'll definitely come up with, uh, with the best agenda. President Jam Kamwana, thank you very much.